What's going on, church fam? It's Church Life bringing y'all another video. I pray y'all are having a blessed day. So today I just want to say, God will show up on your behalf. But sometimes it can feel like it's taking forever to happen. And you want to believe that the Heavenly Father will show up on your behalf. But oftentimes, our circumstances make it hard for us to believe, depending on what we're going through. Loss of loved ones, loss, your job, your car broke down. It's hard to pay the mortgage on your house or the rent. The rent might be due and you just lost your job. Or your health might be failing you. All sorts of stuff begins to take place. And we start to ask ourselves the question, is there an end to all this? Will my life get better? Or is it even possible at this point for my life to get better? And I wanna let you know, it's possible. It can get better and it will get better when you put all your trust in God. See, I went through just about every experience there is in life. I lost loved ones, I lost jobs. You know, people in my family have gotten sick. And when I started my journey, that's when I lost my vehicles and we were actually living in the truck I had. That's how we started the journey. And it got repossessed because I couldn't pay it. I couldn't pay my car payment. But then eventually I ended up getting another vehicle and we kind of slept in that one too. And one day we were just riding, trying to find some food, but I ain't have no insurance. And the police pulled up behind us, boom, took the car. And we had the last of our stuff in the car. We took what we can. It was a whole bunch of stuff happening that made me believe my life wouldn't get better. But I continue to have faith in the Heavenly Father. I continue to follow Lord Jesus. No matter how dark the sky may seem, I continue to follow. And it got rough. It really did, y'all. But God showed up on our behalf. See, eventually, I got another job. My sister, she started working. And we ended up staying at a motel. And we was able to sustain that for the rest of our journey. But there was a time I didn't believe it would happen. Because I even, I forgot to tell y'all, we slept on a bench outside freezing cold as well. And it was tough. It was tough, y'all. There's times my mom got sick on the journey, had to go in for emergency surgery, because if she didn't, well, I don't even want to utter those words, but you know, it would have been bad. There was times I thought my life wouldn't get better, but all God needed is faith of a mustard seed. See, a mustard seed start off as the smallest herb there is. But then it grows up to be great among all the herbs. And guess what else it does? It gives a home for all the birds in the air and all the animals to hide them under the shadow of its branches because that herb grows to be that great. See, all God needs is a little bit. If you give him a little bit of your faith, it can become something something great. See, I didn't know that everything that I was going through, when I thought it wouldn't get better, I didn't know that God was using this to build a testimony for me to glorify his name. And he was going to take that little bit of faith that I had at one point in time to give my life purpose so that I may share the gospel, the good news to people that are going through similar situations that I went through. 
See, I'm here to let you know today that God will show up on your behalf. When I was homeless, three years. See, sometimes it requires you to have a tremendous amount of patience because I was homeless three years, but before I became homeless, before I moved from Greenville, North Carolina to Columbia, South Carolina, in Greenville, I was struggling too. I was facing eviction. I lost my job <laughs> once again. I was fussing and fighting with people, drinking, smoking, going to parties. And all I wanted was to have a better life. All I wanted was a better life, y'all. Moved to Columbia, South Carolina. Became homeless. But that was the best life I ever had. Now that I look back on it, because that's when I stopped drinking. That's when I stopped smoking. That's when I stopped going to parties. That's when I stopped every single thing that was causing me to be depressed. And that's what gave me the strength later on to overcome even looking at bad videos. Because that's something I struggled with for years. Just looking at those sights, y'all. And sometimes depression is what caused you to become addicted to certain stuff in life. But when I submitted all my ways to the Heavenly Father and I traded my will for the Heavenly Father's will to be done in my life, that's what made the difference. It's all about submitting, y'all. I had to let go in order to grow. I had to submit my mustard seed of faith in order for me to become the person I am today. God was able to use that to change me from the inside out. And it grew to become what it is today because God showed up on my behalf. He took me from the land of familiar and placed me in an unknown world, something that I was not familiar with because a lot of times it's our comfortability that keep us in a stuck place. But when we took that leap of faith and moved, we became homeless, but God led us through the wilderness. And because I got out of my comfort zone and I had to do something uncomfortable, it was challenging. But the one thing that it did was clear my mind up because when you're in the land of familiar, you see too many familiar faces that continues to do familiar stuff, stuff that we got to let go of. Sometimes it's the people we surround ourselves with that keep us in a stuck environment. But the moment you decide to let go of that environment, that must receive the faith, that's what God going to use to change you. That's what God going to use to strengthen your foundation. Because another thing the Father taught me, right? And this is how I'm going to close. He said, when you build a house upon sand, when the wind begins to blow and the rain begins to descend and the floods come, it's going to wash the house away. It's going to wash it away. But when you build it upon a rock, when the storm come, it will stand. But then the Heavenly Father took it even deeper. He said, but what about the maintenance of the road? What about the maintenance of the foundation? See, if you don't maintain what God has given you, it's going to develop potholes. It's going to develop cracks in the foundation. So it's up to us to maintain it. And guess how you do that? With the mustard seed of faith. Continue to learn from Lord Jesus. When you follow his instructions, he will show up on your behalf. Faith is the only way to please God. So the road ahead may look scary because it's unfamiliar. But when you become acquainted 
with Lord Jesus, the more you develop that relationship, even when the road ahead looks dark, Lord Jesus will provide that light to guide your footsteps. So allow Lord Jesus to be in your heart. And this is your confirmation. God is going to show up on your behalf. But you got to have faith. That's the point I'm trying to make because it's going to be stuff that happened that's outside of our control. I went through it, y'all. But I'm here to let you know you can heal from that trauma. You can heal from every situation that you may have went through. And you can do great things for the kingdom of God if you allow his will to be done in your life. God will show up if you continue to show up, even when life get hard. Like I said in the last video, when you put your hands up, that's the evening sacrifice. That's the evening sacrifice, y'all. When you put your hands up, because that's letting the Heavenly Father know, no matter what I go through, I'm going to trust you. I'm going to trust you, Lord. You brought me out here. I believe you will bring me through it. I'm going to trust you. And when you pray in the name of Lord Jesus, that prayer gives off a sweet aroma. God will smell it. And he will find you when you cry out to him. Like I said, pray even harder. When life seems to be getting darker, pray even harder. And God will show up. I'm living proof. Believe that. I'm living proof, y'all. There was a time I didn't think my life had no purpose, no meaning, no nothing. I just felt lost. But Lord Jesus, being the good shepherd that he is, left the 99 just to find that one. He thought I was worth being saved. He saved me from the pit. He saved me from the lion. He saved me from the bear. Just like when David left the sheep, just to go save that one. He said, the Lord delivered him out of the paw of the lion and the bear. And when he was standing face to face to, to Goliath, he said he would do the same. Even in this hour, he would deliver me out of the hands of my enemy. God going to break generational curses off your life. God going to deliver you. God going to save you through Lord Jesus Christ. He's going to pull you out of that darkness through Lord Jesus Christ. He's going to show up on your behalf. And guess what? He already has. But you got to walk by faith, not by sight. Sometimes stuff ain't what it appear to be. And that's the temptation that the enemy will try to get you off the course that the Heavenly Father has placed you on. He will try to make it look worse than what it is. But when you have faith, that mustard seed, like I said, that's what's going to help you get through these challenges. Continue to trust Lord Jesus. I pray this word bless you. In Jesus' name, amen. I love y'all.